Hey guys, it's Bruchette with Sandy Seed Company, and today I'm so excited to be in a beautiful garden that is not mine. It's actually my videographer's, and it looks killer right now. There's so much going on, and it also warms my heart because I can see some tips and tricks I've shared along the way. He actually listened, which is great. But this video, I'm gonna be talking about tomatillos. So they're kind of like an unsung hero of the garden, especially hot gardens. So I'm gonna talk about how you grow it, um, how you do the starts, everything you need to know, and we're also going to be giving away a seed pack. Now, before I get into that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you're notified anytime we put out a video. Okay, so first thing, rules are rules, let's go over that. So if you wanna win a tomatillo seed pack from us, you need to like and subscribe, comment on the video, and then don't forget, you gotta sign up for the newsletter because that's how we're gonna announce the winner. We've gotten so many people entering these last couple contests that we gotta organize ourselves, and so sign up for the newsletter. That's where your name might show up, and we will send you a free tomatillo seed pack. All right, so what is a tomatillo? Well, interestingly enough, when I grew up in Kansas, it wasn't a common plant. In fact, you really didn't find it in grocery stores, and, you know, actually, if you probably would have asked me, I don't know if I would have known. Then I moved to San Diego and you learn that tomatillos make the most amazing green salsa and they're a really cool plant. So they're actually related to tomatoes and if you look at the plant, they look very similar, right? They've got very large flowers, but similar flowers. And some cultures actually refer to them as husk tomatoes um, because they actually look like a tomato within a husk. And the way that you grow them is actually very similar to tomatoes. So they want to grow during the warm season, so the warm time of the year when the days are getting longer. It's very important to have happy, healthy uh, tomatillo plants. The other thing that's important about them is uh, where you're going to put them. So you can see here, we're like in, in the corner and, and I, I'm about to be like engulfed in this plant because it's so big and it's so happy. But they do need some type of trellising because you can see how long the leaves are, the stems are, and when these get totally loaded with tomatillos, in our garden we've made the mistake many times of letting them get too big and then they actually snap because there's too many on them. Um, tomatillos are a plant that you're gonna wanna harvest often because once they're ready, they're gonna be loaded and if you leave them on the plant too long, it's actually gonna slow down production of more of them. So when do you know when they're ready? Well, this is like, um, I would say, uh, very immature. You wanna actually see the tomatillos popping out. They're going to be about the size of a large grape tomato and they will burst through the bottom of this paper. That is when you know that they're ready. The nice thing about tomatillos, because typically they are used to make salsa, is if you do harvest a few a little too early, they're still going to be delicious and have a nice tart, vibrant flavor that makes what we love, the flavors that we love in, in Salsa Verde. So harvest heavily when they're ready, stay on top of harvesting so your branches don't break and fall over. Plant them in a full sun area during the warm, warm season. So for zone nine and 10, that would be early spring all the way through fall. And make sure they get adequate spacing so they get full sunlight. If you see, not that I'm calling my videographer out or anything, but we can see over here on this side, if you can even get in here and check this out, we've got another one that is very stunted. And it's the same variety. Now, why is that? It's just not getting enough sunlight. We've got these romas that are in tomato cages, which I'm gonna talk about that later, but they're sh basically shading these. They need full sun. If they don't get full sun, they're not gonna be very happy and um, they want to be grown during the warm season. Now, tomatillos are fairly drought tolerant and really can grow in pretty hot areas. If you're in areas of uh, Arizona or Texas, you'll notice that tomatillos will be stars in your garden when other plants can't really compete with the heat. What's important is that you put them in good soil, mulch heavily around the bottom of the plant so you retain moisture and water evenly and consistently. That's gonna make really nice, big, happy plants. They are fairly decorative. I mean, they can be a gorgeous plant in the garden almost just for ornamental sake. Um, in fact, there are some relatives of the tomatillo that you will find in nurseries that are sold just as ornamental plants. 
but all in all, they're a really cool plant and so easy to grow, and I don't think they get enough attention, really. Now, let's talk about starting it from seed. So, let's say you win the free tomatillo seed pack. How do you start it? Well, I don't recommend direct sowing it. I recommend starting it in a um, small transplant pot like this. The seeds are pretty small and they can be planted just the same way as you do tomato seeds. I like to put the seed on top of the soil, cover it with finely sifted soil. You guys know that's my preferred method. But you also can put the seed inside the soil. You don't really want to go much deeper than about a fourth of an inch. Make sure it remains moist and it will germinate fairly quickly. If you were doing it re in really early spring, you might want to put a heating mat underneath it because they do like warm soil. Just like tomatoes and peppers and eggplants and all the plants in the Solanaceae family, they want to have uh, warm soil to germinate in and they will germinate much quicker. We actually have um, heating mats, seedling heating mats that we sell on our website. Inexpensive, great tool in the garden, will really help you produce a lot of seedlings in a short period of time. Now this is a great size seedling for planting out. You can see that it is too big for its pot now. You can see that the roots are, are, are outgrowing the pot. That is a sign it either needs to get potted up into a larger size pot or go into the garden. For me, I wouldn't pot this up. I would just stick it in the garden. But it doesn't look like he has any space, so he might have to give it to me and I can take it home and plant it in my garden. But the point is, it's ready to go. Now, we do have tons of videos on our website about transplanting out your, your seedlings. It can be kind of a scary, difficult time in the garden because you do all this work to get this beautiful transplant. And if you put it out in the garden, you don't protect it, within one night it can be mowed down by insects. So we recommend putting Sluggo Plus around your, your um, seedlings. That'll really help protect it from roly polies, pincher bugs, slugs, snails, a plethora of insects that will want to just munch on it in the evening. And you also can use row cover. That will help protect it from other insects until it gets big enough that it really can fend for itself. Once they get about you know this big, they really set it and forget it. There's not a whole lot else you need to do except monitor them so that when they're ready to harvest, you harvest them and make sure you give them some type of support so that they're not cracking and breaking under the weight of their own fruit. So I think that's everything you need to know about tomatillos. Please, if you have any salsa verde recipes that you love, post them in the comments, because I love them. They're so good. And uh, you know, try tomatillos in your garden and tell me what you think. If you guys want to win your very own tomatillo seed pack from us, make sure you subscribe to our channel, comment on this video, preferably with your favorite salsa verde recipe, and sign up for our newsletter, because that is how we will announce who the winner is for the seed pack. So until next time, have fun in your garden and remember to keep on growing.